Welcome back to the Stephen Knight Show. I want to remind you we're all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, our official website is StephenKnightShow.com. All right, so Kim Kardashian has been very open about working with the Trump administration to aid in criminal justice reform and granting clemency to people who have been wrongfully imprisoned. And while she, was accomplished, while she has accomplished great things in her work, she has also garnered lots of negative comments about working so closely with Donald Trump. Now, she recently sat down with David Letterman. Uh, he has a, a Netflix series where he interviews people. It's called um, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. He didn't hold back when it came to speaking about Kim's work under the current administration. He says that despite what Kim's doing, he doesn't feel any better about the about how Don Donnie Donnie is running uh, the country. He said, "I understand that." Now Kim said, "I understand that. Trust me. Everyone called me and said, don't you dare step foot in that White House, or your reputation is done.'" Uh, Kim also expresses that she hopes to continue advocating for people no matter what administration it is done under, uh, seeing that Donnie could very well be voted out of uh, the White House next year, please. Now, hopefully, um, she said, hopefully for the next couple of administrations, I'll be working with the White House, helping them with the, with clemencies. Now, but David, however, he's still not convinced and doubled down on his previous point. He says, but see, your good work is overwhelming. It's a positive force that diminishes what I consider to be unacceptable behavior by the president. Now, as you know, um, Kim Kardashian has, um, she has um, alongside with a team of lawyers um, been working with the Trump administration to grant clemency to black people who have been wrongfully imprisoned uh, through her work. Many people, including former inmate David Shepard um, has been released from prison. Do you think she has a point or he has a point? Chica. Uh, I'm rocking with Dave on this one. Um, I've never been um, uh, a KK fan. Uh, and going all the way back to her Reggie Bush days, you know, I just know her to be conniving and contrived and <sighs> staging, you know, publicity for certain things. And I just look at, I, I looked at her doing this activism and it's a good thing what comes out of it. But I think that it was all contrived in the initial to have something outside of the brand of the Kardashians and her sisters. You know, they all do makeup, they all do clothes, they all do, you know, all these other things. And it was this was her way to segue out of that into something else, which is a good thing that you are helping people. But I still look at it as contrived for press. And the reason that you're working with this particular administration is because he's willing to work with you because he wants your numbers. He wants the people that you bring along with you as far as the eyes and the attention. Um, you're, you, again, you are helping people, but I would not get in bed with the devil to do the light. Sorry. No. Think, um, right, right there with him. You know, that guy's right. Uh, he, the work is overshadowed by that person that she's do that administration that she's deciding to work with. And I, I, I'm, I'm completely aligned with Chike on this. I don't know much about her, but uh, I've never been a fan of hers uh, or their family members in particular. Um, and it does seem like this is a very like uh, contrived, the word that he used, situation where she just kind of tried to dip into politics in some type of way to kind of, you know, treat her brand in a way that it's not so uh, jokingly seen or, or fragile to the public as just a, beauty, health, cosmetic, vanity brand. She's kind of trying to put some depth to it. And, and if they really wanted to work, do some work with some people, there are so many organizers, you know, black organizers that are doing this type of work as well that they could have been partnering with the Congressional Caucus, like they mentioned with Ice Cube and uh, Ados and all these other organizations that they really could get with to really do some work without that administration, you know? So I, I'm with Chike completely on that. I slightly disagree. I think um, I, I I agree with you know what's been her platform and you know and, and and everything they do is for television, right? But she did go to law school. She's in law school, and I saw in the interview she was talking about wanting to do something more than just post for the cameras, post on Instagram, and so the fact that she is using her celebrity to get people out of jail because what she's doing, she's changing lives. I mean, these are people that were in, like the one woman. Um, the, the one that was on the drug charge, she was in jail for 23 years for a first offense. 
and she was able to get her clemency. And I think I think that if you can't use your celebrity to help other people, it's it's more than just you. You know what I mean? So I I mean I get where you all were saying too, but I think that if someone's using what they can to help, I don't see a problem with that. I really don't. But yeah, um, and, that, and that's why I line with that's why I line with Chike because he said some good comes out of it. No matter what, good is coming out of it in some way, even if it's small, it comes out. And the fact she she's not saying she just wanted to work for Trump administration. I think Trump was the the one to help because he's a reality star too. You know what I mean? And um, and like you said, he wants that attention. I helped Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, but I think that um, I think that I think the the uh, proof of the pudding would be to see how she continues to work throughout the different administrations. So if Biden is elected, if she's able to do some things with him as well, and it continue, it be it becomes an ongoing thing and not just for this administration. I think that'll be big to see, you know, what happens. All right, so Tory Lanez, remember he, he's the, the singer who um, allegedly shot Megan Thee Stallion. And so, um, you know, he's in the middle of, they say one of the most controversial moments in hip hop, um, you know, especially recent age, years, but it hasn't stopped him from continuing to live his life. Now, footage of him recently uh, was put out there of him partying at a strip club and it was released online and a troller commented that uh, Tori was putting up a front and he clapped back in a big way. So following the first court appearance after being charged in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting, Tori Lenz decided to uh, let off some steam and help the strip club and the footage that made its way around social media, Tori was seen making it rain with endless amount of ones and he was getting lit with his friends. Underneath the video, um, of the wild night, a commenter wrote, he wants everyone to think he's so happy while he's dying inside. Now, Tori clapped back and responded with, I ain't know you lived inside me. Now, as previously reported, um, the attorney to Tori Lenz uh, pushed back the arraignment in the Megan Thee Stallion shooting following the recent appearance in court, which was over the phone via his attorney, Sean Holly. The judge said bail at 190000 dollars and approved the Los Angeles uh, County District Attorney's Office for projected, I'm sorry, prote protection, protection order requests, um, ordering the Tory to stay away at least 100 yards away from Megan and not to contact her. Um, and they also uh, approved the request to push the Raymond back to November 18th. Tory was able to post bail through a bondsman um, and he, he was charged for three uh, felony charges, including assault with a semi-automatic firearm. So do you think it was irresponsible for him to post these videos of him in the strip club going through all this? Because prior to the court date, he was posting with his baby. You know, it's people thought he was trying to get the sympathy, uh, you know, his, his child. But now that the court date has been pushed back about a month or so, and now he's in the strip club making it rain. Um, do you think this was, not a good idea or what do, what do you think you get? I think it was a horrible idea. Um, I'm gonna quote uh, the famous Jamel Hill where she says people can get it how they live. I think he's gonna get it how he lives. I think that's really him. That's who he is, um, which is kind of indicative to what happened, you know, the whole scene, that's just his lifestyle. That's, you know, he's a young guy with money um, moving around sort of ignorantly. Um, you would catch me at your local petting zoo around a whole bunch of children, throwing uh, charity events. It would be total opposite and off brand of what you know me to be because court of public opinion is great and he's gonna have to pay that toll at some point. And they're looking at everything that he does. Not you? Yeah, you know, but that was what he that was him before the incident that was quarantine radio mm -hmm. you know that was this is all him so i don't doubt that he's he's a father a, a good father if that's the case uh, i don't doubt that he's a guy that likes to go to strip clubs uh, whether this incident happened or not you wouldn't catch me doing half of the stuff that he does you know especially when it comes to money you know i'm not i'm not that kind of person so i'm not going to be flaunting my money don't I, I don't believe in that you know throwing it at the strip club and all that this, that just ain't gonna be me period so do I think it's smart? For me, not at all. For him, we'll see what happens. Yeah. 
It looks to me it's a little arrogant. I mean, you would want to be seen in the best light, especially when you have a pending case with three felonies. It's not like a light thing that you're dealing with here. And um, yeah, we'll see what happens. All right, our final story. So last year, last week we reported that Cynthia Bailey and Mike Hill jumped the broom. Um, with almost 200 people, family and friends, um, and has been to talk there and that. Now, a lot of people, you know, thought the reception was beautiful the couple look great um but they were a little concerned about the um the fact that they were getting married um especially inside of a facility so according to tmz bravo was supposed to record the wedding for the show um, because the wedding was initially supposed to be outside but they had to move the wedding indoor to indoor venue due to hurricane delta so bravo stepped out because they didn't think it was comfortable bringing crew to film um you know with everything going on now apparently mike and um mike and cynthia they did have everyone take a test they had to have a negative test within five days they had to wear masks unless you were eating or drinking you had to wash your hands we came in there and they had the whole place disinfected for fans the nuptials will be viewed still because they had their own film crew that was on on deck and Bravo used that footage, um, you know, for the show. Do you think it was smart of Bravo um, to not be part of the filming, Chica? Yup, they're protecting their brand. Bravo's not stupid. If something breaks out over that, they don't have anything to do with it. We weren't there, we didn't do it, we didn't sanction it. We're just buying the footage in which, you know, they filmed. But if Cynthia was smart, because uh, I'm sure at this point, if she doesn't, then that would be a negative business move on her behalf. But at this point, she should have some kind of production in, in Housewives, and they should put up a disclaimer before the show even starts. Just mm. my opinion. That's true. That's true. Now, would you have attended the wedding? Well, let me ask you, I was, that's what I was thinking about when I, when I was going over this story. So you're getting married um, in December and I'm going to it. What precautions do y'all have in place? <laughs> yeah, yeah, the same. The same, actually. Uh, I just added you to a group as well. The same. We're going to be going through the same type of procedures, you know, uh, requiring or asking people to get tested um, with a valid test period, uh, you know. But even still, with that, someone can get infected at the airport, you know, mm -hmm. so... <laughs> and that's the thing, like, because they said five days, you can get yeah, tested, it, you can get infected the next day. Yeah, the, on the, I know right a lot after of you leave the test, the, yeah. So, in, I know in, in my ear, have people yeah. have people sign something before they come, before they walk in, before, beyond the threshold, have them sign something so they don't hold you responsible if something happens. Yeah, so that's what we're looking to do. We're looking to really get people a way out to not want to come and do mm. another way and celebrate another way. So we, we're gonna try to keep the numbers even ridiculously small now. So uh, you'll see some communication in the group, Steve, but basically we're just gonna try to give people options to not be there and just celebrate later at a different time through, you know, when, when, when everything is better. Um, but for those who have tickets and so forth, totally fine. We're still gonna be able to accommodate, but we wanna make the number much smaller than what it is now, just so that we don't have to worry about this type of issue affecting many people, if anything, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Well, well, that's hot topics. Cheeky, I'll see your movie reviews. Now, yeah, look forward to the wedding still. Wear my mask. Yeah. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 We'll, ha we'll have some of those too. We'll have some. Yeah. yeah. Most definitely. We'll have Most everything. Definitely. Yeah. All right, guys, as always, thank you for the, the chat. Next week we have, uh, uh, our female guest calls. I can't think of her name. Top savage? She, no, not Savage. Um, not Blair. Savage. Okay. Blair. 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 She'll okay. be back next week. All right. All right. We'll be right back after this. Peace.